Hello everybody, my name is Richard and today we're going to talk about another powerful uh, appointment setting tool and this time we'll be talking about a tool called Moments. Moments is spelled M-O-M-E-N-C-E. -E. So Moments is, an, is a tool that allows you to um, um, create uh, platforms for your business to receive appointments if you are someone that uh, uh, has digital courses maybe digital classes if you're a consultant if you are involved in anything that involves you or that requires you to talk to people uh, sell products and services from your desk this tool moments is very important for you and today i'm going to demonstrate just the basics of the various things you might need to know if you are just getting to know about these two for the first time. My name is Richard N and you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Fast Kiddy. Let us explore this together. So uh, the first step to uh, using Moments is, uh, of course, to create your account and you just need your email address and then you are good to go. So let us start. I've already created my account. First thing you want to do is get into your dashboard as a user. So I'm going to click to access my dashboard from here. So this right here is my moments dashboard and this is where all the magic begins. And of course, because this is your dashboard, this is the part of the tool where you see a quick overview or should I say a quick summary of everything you've been doing of your business over the last couple of time. You see here we have total sales for the last seven days and then we have a quick overview for this week. So that means that this place shows you all you've been doing for the last one week. We have to do if you have any to do uh, if you have any up up, you know, upcoming classes we have some here. And then this is all you are going to find here on your dashboard. And then this is where you have the onboarding steps. Uh, Moments tries to, you know, onboard its new customers by showing them how to uh, set up the system properly. But even if you don't want to go through all these write-ups, this YouTube channel is going to help you uh, get a grip on how to set up the system perfectly for yourself. And if this is your business, if this is your platform for your business hosted on Moments, this is where you're going to see your inbox. This is where you have every message that is uh, coming from your customers and all of that. And then we have points of sale, of course. This is where you see all the payments you are getting at the moment. And then let us start properly. Moments allows you to create uh, stuff like classes, can create classes can create you can take appointment you can create memberships you can even have a list of customers and then you can you know you can handle your own your you know you can also do the marketing aspect of your business like sequence you know one of messages and leads and then reviews and all of that and then off and then also one thing you are also going to be interested in is the bookkeeping aspect of moments which allows you to to you know to get uh, a kind of history of your recent uh, bank deposit and all of that so let's go back and start properly so now assuming you are someone that has uh, a kind of training program uh, let's say you are a trainer you train people you're a consultant and all of that this moment is a platform that can allow you to be able to take up new trainees even even if you don't have a website or whatever and how do you do that you do that by coming to these classes and then and then when you come to these classes you're going to be able to create a class if you are you know if you are a teacher you can see in the past i've created two here this is uh one is the is you know it's a physical class the other one is an online class and of course, because it's a class, you are allowed to put the, the class name. This is the date of the class and as well, it has a time and then the duration. This one starts from 2.30 to 4.30. This one starts from 12 to 3 p.m. And then it also allows you to, you know, set the teachers that are going to take or tutor 
the people in this class and then it tells you about the location and then this one provides a quick overview of your enrollment for each class you have here and then you can see the sign ups here for this login master class we have one of 35 so then so this means that the total people required for this class is 35 but we've had just one sign up and then for the second class being the on-demand digital skills we have it been taken by Dr. Ngozi and and then it's an online class and of course you can see we've had four out of 50 signups and so if you are someone that uh, actually has a course to sell this is going to be very useful for you because i'm going to demonstrate how you can actually create your class here without um, wasting so much time so this is how to do it so let us say you want to create a class you can actually start doing that by clicking on create a new class and then you're going to decide what kind of class is it going to be. It's going to be an, a one-off class. It's going to be a one-off class from templates or a kind of recurring class. Of course, I want to do a one-off class and then we just keep it like this because whichever one you do here, you know, has a way of reflecting and, you know, has its kind of response and behavior. So let us work with the class. Maybe in course of any videos, we're going to consider workshop, course, retreat, private class, and then semester. So we'll start with class and then we're going to click on this you see the, you see the most interesting thing about uh moments is that when you're trying to create a class you are allowed to name your class of course this is the first thing that whoever is going to book your class is going to see when they click on your class link so we're going to name the class and what do we name this class we can say okay this is a class on um how to make a shawarma so we can say okay um you can call it shawarma uh, master class we can say okay 2024 so now we can come here and then put a description and of course to get this description i'm going to I'm, i don't want to you know spend time because i, I want this video to be as short as possible so i'm going to go straight to my ai tool to get the description for this class so I'm going to ask it for I'm going to put in I'm going to make a prompt and I'll say I have a master class on shower. Now I need a description for this class generated for me. It is an online class. It is an online class. So this is telling uh, the AI that it should give me uh, what I will put there as as uh, content for this. So I'm going to see now from skewer to perfection online class. So let us assume that is the name of the class. So we can come here and then we'll put this and that is and then the date. What date we want this class to hold? Of course, I want it to be on in the month of June and then it's going to be a four hours class and the maximum participant that we need for this class we can say it's 10 we just want 10 people um to be here and then who is going to take this class we can say dr richard machuku and then of course we've already said this up before but in scenarios where you don't want to use this guy maybe you feel like you have your own teachers and then you can come here this is how to set up how to create your teachers on moments so let me show you how to create a teacher moment. So you create on the plus to add a teacher. And then when you get to this teacher management uh, section, you click on add new teacher. When you click on add new teacher, you want to put the teacher's name. You can say, uh, you can say, um, you can say Ahmad, Ahmad. And then we can put the name uh, Joanna. Okay, let's say, now we want to put a bio of course i've had a bio before now so i'll just go copy it and just put it there i don't want to waste much time um i have a bio here i will just call all you take anything for okay here is our bio we can copy this bio and then we can drop it in here put it here and then we can put the name of the teacher and say okay um we don't want to talk at this time we just put ahmad Joanna 
and then the default period of course we can see the period is we want to create a new period so we can click on the plus to add a new period so don't forget that if you want to create a period what you do is you click here that plus and then you can be able to add a period so let us see how it's going to work for us so let us add a new period so the periods to do this one we need to add periods of course you can name the periods you can say okay to touring and you say base rates let's say the base rate is say uh, 45 dollars and then uh, if you are trying to train a customer we normally charge 75 right so so okay let us just leave it at that and then we'll add this now because we've added it you see it has come here as two turns so we cannot go back to our this and then we can add the period for this guy of course it's two turns that's your period and then the teacher's email let's call it fastgidia.gmail.com and then we can put the teacher's phone number 8111122 you know we just want to use a dummy one like that and then of course we are done with creating this teacher profile and then we can just say okay add teacher it's okay so we should add a valid phone number so let us try and add a valid phone number and we can do that by adding a few digits uh, hopefully it will work this time this teacher with this email already exists okay let's change the email let's change it to another email so let's take uh, fujinaija.gmail.com so we have put that and of course this is now our teacher is set so we can come back here now because we don't want to use this existing teacher we can come here scroll down when we scroll down we can see the teacher that we just created you see uh joanna we can add it and then you see the the out the period has been added and then because this is a teacher we want to also add the location of this class of course if it's going to be an in-person class you're going to add the location and it doesn't really have to be this particular location you can actually add another location by clicking on add new location and then you can say okay the name of the location we can call it uh uh golden let's say tulip and then of course it's physical so you can see this is seven uh michael drive of course let's say new york whatever and all of that so we can actually add it yes we've added that and then if it's going to be an online class you can set that up using here but because we want it to be an you know in person class that means the person has to come to the venue physically you know we're going to work with this and then we're going to say okay next now when you click on next it's going to take you to the to the the other parts of your of your moments where you're going to set up the the payment and of course if this class is going to be a free class you click here but because we want it to be a, a free class you know we don't want to waste much time we just leave it at that and then we just leave everything else in another video we're going to set everything properly so that you see how it works and we're going to say okay set it up and then the additional settings is going to pop up and this is if you really want to spend time here but in another video we're going to pick a particular business and we're going to set this up properly and then we can say create now our class our master class shawarma uh you know our master class on shawarma 2024 has been created and then this is the meeting link so that means whoever that is going to come for this meeting is going to be able to create a booking by using this link so let us see if this actually works so we can click to copy this to, uh, to, 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 to you know to co copy this uh meeting link and then we can open up our new tab and then we can paste it to see if it's going to work or not so this is a landing page for this particular master class so whoever comes here is going to be able to book appointments from this place and then when you come here you can actually book now when you click on book now you are allowed to you know secure your spots and that is you can actually add few things and all of that and you know you're good to go so this is how you create um, a class on moments so let's go back when we come here now you can see that somebody has actually booked this class someone has actually booked this class but let me still go back and demonstrate you know the beginning of this class in proper way let's assume you come here and then you want to book this class 
of course you have to give us a lot of details um normally here you're supposed to put in your email and all of that probably i didn't set it up let it let us go back and set this class once again uh let's set it edit this class and uh, you see we are going to have to add some more details of course it's a free class and um okay let's just leave it like this and then you know we will come back here we will come to our home we we'll come to our dashboard we're going to see that we've actually had more sales and then if we come to our classes we're going to see that okay for this uh shawarma class we see we've had one enrollment for it and then this as well shows us a brief overview of the class like the shawarma master class is the name and then teacher is amal Giovanna. Location is golden to leap, and then the sign up is one of ten. So this is exactly how to create uh, classes, how to create a schedule on moments. And like I said, moments is a very powerful tool. If you are a trainer, if you have a gym, if you have a spa, if you have any kind of uh, you know business that allows you to come in contact, maybe even a salon. Okay, you can use this tool to actually. Uh, design the business and then make it easy to be able to receive bookings and appointments from your customers in the future. So remember, we're going to come back in another video and then we're going to do a more in-depth setup for a particular business. So remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow us and share with your friends as this is going to be beneficial to them as well. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.